Question 27. Can you find the maximum bending moment on the bending moment uh, on the bending moment diagram for this problem? Think about it, pause the video, and see if you can work it out. I can give you a couple of hints. Think about three hints. So maybe if you've got no clue, then watch the first hint then pause it at that stage, work second hint, pause at that stage, see it and see if you can work it out. So we're looking for the maximum bending moment values. The first hint is to go back and use your shear force diagram. Okay, so your shear force diagram shows you uh, this, uh, this value going straight up because of the reaction and now it's starting to drop because the UDL and notice that it will cut at a point at when x equals 3.75 meters. Now remember that the bending moment diagram is the integral of the shear force diagram so if we think of it the other way around we could say that the shear force diagram is the differential of the bending moment diagram meaning that when the shear force diagram equals zero, we've got a turning point, a maximum or a minimum on the bending moment diagram. So this should be the location where we're gonna get a maximum bending moment value. We could imagine perhaps we're gonna get one here as well, because it's cutting uh, to zero, although this is a discontinuous line, whereas this one's a continuous cut. second hint is well I know what the location is going to be so what am I going to do to work out the actual value I'll you go back and I use my formula that uh, when we go through the UDL we're going to use this formula so that we're going to have minus the UDL value times by half open bracket X take away the start location of the UDL close bracket and squared do you think you can work it out now? Do you've got enough information to work it out? Okay, here's the answer. So we've got, I'm going to use this formula above. Um, I'm at 20, oh, we've got a first force there, which is 21. It's going upwards. And we know the distance is roughly about here. So we're at 3.75 meters. So that would be the first moment that we've got. And the second term, I just use my formula. So I've got minus 12, so minus UDL times by half. We know the location of where the maximum is going to be, which should be at 3.75. So 3.75, take away its start position, which is 2, square all that. And then you'll get a value of 60.375 kilonewton meters. So when we plot this on um, MD solids, we will get a value of 60.38 rounded up a little bit. So you notice that gives me the maximum uh, there. And also, uh, as we suspected, that was the other point with the shift voice diagram cut. So that's also going to give me a minimum value of minus 48 there. In terms of structural analysis, we're interested in finding the maximum bending value. So it's either going to be the 60 or the minus 48 that we're, we're looking for. And in this particular case, that's the one of greater interest. So that's giving us the, the larger bending, um, bending moment. OK, so um, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, if there's any problems, that's my, um, send me an email and uh, I'll get back to you.